Hi everybody and welcome back to another video presentation and um, what I'm going to be doing today is talking about the home remote app. It's just a, sec it's just a further update compared to um, uh, the previous one I did. It's going back a few months now and uh, in between then I've just had some time to play around with a few bits and pieces and also uh, a couple of cl clients have actually got back to me um, with a few uh, snippets of information. So uh, what I want to do is I want to um, share that with everybody and also to basically also show you, uh, well people have been asking around creating templates so that means they can populate the stuff um, themselves uh, so because that's what they're struggling with so what I've decided to do is um, show you well cr I've created some template files which I'm going to go through now uh, there's a total of seven and what I'm going to be doing is um, as per norm now I'm just going to be uh, I've zipped them up put them into a file a simple downloadable file which can be purchased from my web shop for just five pounds. So um, all the templates ready and I'm just going to quickly go through them and how to use it and basically that's it. Then uh, towards the end of the video I'm going to show you about a pin system. I know way back um, I created my own uh, pin protection system where we had to create the pin pad manually and code it all manually well that's out the window now we have got a script file that can do just precisely that and you can set any pin you like so I'm going to be showing you how to use that that script will be available in the comments uh, below so you can just copy and paste it okay so um, where should we start let's start with the templates so um, I've already got my home remote designer window open and so what I'm going to do is first of all open up uh, the file so th th these are the files so it's one two three four five six seven eight uh, I just want to show you what this is basically it's uh, one big box eight smalls two big boxes with eight smalls uh, this is a two pager with one big eight small and 16 smalls on the second page, uh, two pages, two big boxes with eight smalls and 16 smalls on the second page. Then this is just a 12 small boxes, 16 boxes and 25 boxes. Right, let's start with the first one. Let's open this up. So, so when we're looking at this one, um, as you can see, it's one big box and eight smalls. All right, so, uh, what we mean by that is this one here can be used to cr put something in there as uh, maybe a, a camera or picture or something like a big device if you wish and then in these individual ones you can just add in your smaller devices uh, or smaller buttons. I've also made these into multi-columned so there's roughly 12 sorry multi-road version so there's 12 in each one the reason for that is so that it's very easy to um what's the word uh, align everything properly so for example if you click on controls and uh, let's get a button and then we can just do something like this so we can say this button is one two three four four rows and that way you can then position things appropriately so if i just do that and just change the color so it's a bit filled up so you can see it a bit more clearly so things like that so it means that for alignment purposes you can then get things aligned properly in here without much of an issue all right the naming system on here so this is the main page and um, so all of that is done for you so it's literally just um, coming in clicking on devices clicking on add device source and then choose your Fibaro or Sonos or whatever and once that's added uh, just follow the rest of my tutorials and uh, adding buttons and just allocating uh, a device for it to work on so that's the um, one big eight small 
What I'm going to do now is let me just close this file. Uh, I'm not going to save it. And I'm going to open up the two pager. So let's this one. Now, this one, so we've got the main page, which is here. And then if I click on second, it opens up a second page, which gives you the um, uh, six, 16 4x4 four four grid. Again, the 4x4 four four grid is set up, but with multiple rows again. Um, I think it's only eight this time. Uh, if you want to add more, you can just click on this row definitions and just click on, you know, add a few more if you wish just to make it a little bit tighter to help get some better alignment functions. Clicking on main again, oops, let's put that back to where it was. Um, clicking on main, we've got two windows here for potentially two cameras. And then of course we've got our eight buttons here at the bottom, just like before. Uh, but this time round, we, sorry. Oh, uh, I've done it again. Let me just click on that. This time round, we've got our pages. I think I've just messed up the alignment. So let me just close that. And I don't want to change, save changes. And just open it up again. Clicking too quickly here. So these are your boxes and then alignments and things like that. Put your buttons in, same as before. And this time we've got the main page. And then, uh, so we can work on the pages individually by clicking on the page name or clicking on that to work on that. Right, so those are for the template. So if you want, I can just quickly show you the 12 small ones. So that's what the 12 small ones look like. And the 25 small ones just look like that. Oh, before I forget, I've designed this to work on an iPad. Um, to be honest with you, it'll work on pretty much any tablet or um, Samsung or Apple tablets or iOS and Android. Um, the, the width and heights are pretty much um, scaled from this base height, so it should, uh, should look okay uh, on any of them. All right, right. Now, um, code. So, how are we going to do the code? Right, to do the code, what we need to do is, first of all, we have to have a page that is not clickable on here. All right? So, i.e., we can't go to that page directly. So, what we first need to do is click on Pages, right-click, Add Page, and we'll give that page any name you want. So. I'm just going to call it page two, but you can call it pin protected, security, alarm, anything you wish. Okay, even random letters, perfectly fine. So creating a, a separate page, so click on okay. So now that is now our page. To make it easier, we then um, click on the grid on the right hand side. Uh, the, what I would tend to do is generally we're going to be using this for alarm so we'll create a three columns and three rows like as such all right then now that you've got your three columns three rows we can then create our alarm off button say for example so we'll just create a button here and again it can be any colors icons I'm just gonna do a random one for now in yellow and that's it. And then what you can do is, as before, um, when you click on the event trigger, you click on actions, click on actions, and then here you'll have, say, your alarm off scene or something like that, and then you'll add that value in here. You will then click on um, method invoker, and then click on app, and the method is gonna be called close page, and the parameters is the page that you've just created. So we've created page two dot XAML. So that's what we're gonna be setting it at, okay? So this is two things that you're gonna create on this particular icon. So the first one is, for example, a scene to run our alarm off code, okay? And which we will just bind to our scene as normal as the previous videos. 
and method action is app close page and the name of the page that we created so i call it page two page two there we are so that's here okay for the purpose of this video because i don't have any data in there i'm just going to remove that i don't want any error messages and just leave it as that now that's page two completed so that's my alarm off section completed that's the simple part now i'm going to go back to my main page which is here and i'm just going to create a new button so i'm just going to put it in the middle and i'm going to call this um wherever i can oh uh, button we'll call it button and uh, we can set an icon for this so i don't know let's just put battery for now and icon size 50. what i'm then going to do is when you click on this button so the actions i'm going to do is i'm going to click on action collection but it's not a data so let's remove that mm -hmm. because i don't want it to actually do anything on the fibara i want it to run a script so we're going to click on plus and script and we would like to use it anyway so we just click on yes and in the script click on the three buttons here and then the script will open up all i'm going to do is then copy and paste this script so basically all i'm saying is that when this button is ticked it will prompt you to say please enter pin and then the prompt result is the pin that you're going to specify so i put one two three four and then here if the page if that pin number is correct it will then open up the page to docxaml this is the one that i specify so again this has to be equal the one the page that you've created if we don't put the right pin in it'll just say failure and nothing will happen so i'm just going to click on okay and then exit that so let's now click on play to the to run the simulation so if i click on that please enter pin and i'm going to enter six 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 oh it's a failure click on okay on a tablet the keyboard actually pops up so let's do that and let's enter the correct pin and that opens up our page two there's our button so and then when we click it it goes back to the main page again so sim simple way now if you ever need to change the pin all you have to do is go back to this button that we've created go back to the actions and then go back to the script and just amend it here so let's change it to four three two one let's do the game again we'll save it and that's it click on play and now the pin is now four three two one so four three two one and it opens up our page two and then we're back to pay, uh, our main page again so example scenarios would be um if you need to to open a, a lock a gate that you need pin protecting just create a button don't allocate it any to any devices but instead run the script with a pin number and as soon as the pin number is entered correctly it will then open them to effectively a secure page which will then have your actions so for example turn the alarm off open the gate open the door open a garage door or any secure item that you wish to run okay um that's it so there you have it folks um let me know what you think um i'm hoping that's all nice and uh, straightforward for everything and um like i mentioned before if you click on my shop um you will be able to see the um home remote design templates available which is just here so if i click on there so we've got seven files for the home remote designer and, and that's it so that's just a fiver so you can just click on that to download and like i said script is free um, in the comments section or in the description below it will be there uh thank you guys for watching i uh, hope you make some use of it um i will see you hopefully next time bye for now